What's up? <clears throat> it's Friday night. I got a little time on my hands. I got a little mess on my hands as well. Let me move a little mess out of the way here. But I've had a lot of inquiries on a recent Facebook post about uh, Coin Hearts. Coin Heart, there's a picture in the thumbnail. Um, I'm not sure what coin I'm going to use to do this. But I was thinking just like a silver quarter. I have some other coins here, but I think a silver quarter would be good. Oh, I have these too. It really doesn't matter because the details not really what's going to be important. What's up, James? What's up, John? How you guys doing today? Um, what's important is what it looks like on the side, like the reeded edge. So really, I just need like a good reeded edge. That one could be cool. It's a little thick. But, uh... I don't really think any of these pure silver ones would be totally awesome. I could do a Texas silver quarter. That would actually be pretty cool. Uh, I could say Texas on it. So I'm going to do one of those. We'll do a Texas silver proof quarter heart ring. So anybody from Texas, anybody got some Texas love? What's up, Chad? How you doing, buddy? We need to get together sometime. We use a Texas quarter. What's up, Mama Pat? So yeah, this will actually be pretty cool. <clears throat> Let me put all these coins away. Put all the coinage, the coinage away. I always have a lot of coins on stock, but what's up, Shanna? <clears throat> so we're gonna make a coin heart, hopefully. I've only made a few of these, and I've only had okay success. But there was a Facebook post, and a lot of people are making jigs and uh, spending money on, like, ways to make these. And so far, I haven't really seen any that look that good. So I figured I'd make a really nice one and show it off, guys. So first thing I need to do... Is punch a hole in it and I'm not sure I need some glass some eye protection might as well just use my own glasses huh they're dirty as heck Ooh, this little shirt works great to clean these off I like it all right so I need to figure out what size punch I want to keep Texas I want to make sure that Texas on top and the dates on the bottom are visible. So I can use kind of a bigger punch. Some frothing. I haven't I haven't disc golfed in so long. But I've been thinking about it because I got the pup and it'd be fun to take the puppy out. Yeah, we're just gonna go with this one, which is a half inch. So I'm gonna make a half inch punch on this guy. <clears throat> and this is a silver proof. It's got the S mint mark. That doesn't always mean that it's silver. It just means that it's a proof because San Francisco makes the proofs. You can see the S right here. But this is the silver version. You can really tell silver from looking at the sides. The sides of coins. A non-silver quarter has like a two-tone it just doesn't look it just doesn't look right <clears throat> all right so curious if this will punch if this will screw down far enough to punch this so this will be something I haven't tried before with this punch anyways I have another punch that could work but we'll try it with this guy what do you guys got going on this weekend Anybody have anything super fun and exciting? All right, cool. It does squeeze down enough to center it. What's up, Matthew? Brooklyn Joe? Stephanie? 
Who else we got in here? John, I said hello, John and James. I got you guys. Gotcha. Got you all. Alright, so <clears throat> if you have earphones on or anything that could make this loud, I'll let you know now. It's going to be a little loud. Not too bad. Should just pop right out of here. So there's our little Texas Star. Pretty much, it's almost the same process as making a coin ring. It's just at the end, there's just more work to do. But there's a little less stuff you have to worry about. And this is such a, a thin metal. It shouldn't take too long to knock this out. Hopefully it works out. I mean, this could be an epic fail. I've had those before. And this is a tougher project, so... Who knows, it might fail. We'll see. But we'll keep all that detail in there. The Texas, basically the Texas, and then the wreath. And then the 2004 E Pluribus Unum on the bottom. On the bottom. What's up, Deo and Haddock? So, I need to clean that little, that hole out real quick. So she said. I'm going to use... Use this thing. How do you stay plugged in, dude? How do you not stay plugged? How do you fall out of the hole on your own? It's also what she said. What the fuck is going on here? That should be good enough. Just gonna kinda clean it up a little bit more. Yeah, Dale, I introduced her. Shanna's seen you before, but your uh, live stream yesterday was so good. I had to play it for her. Cause, uh, Voices are on point, dude. If you're able to do like, just do as many videos as you can in the next, like I know you got a little bit of free time right now, or you said you might have some free time. Do as much as you can to get some videos for people to watch for when you take a break, you know, so that if you need to take a month off, you'll have like 10 or 15 videos people can watch. And then if you do like one, one a month, one every couple weeks, you'll be, you'll be killing it, bruh. You'll be killing it, especially if you can do a little animation or editing or something fun like that. Drop some beats. I'm not going to be here too long. And I've been having a real hard time with my Chromebook. If I'm not doing something on it, it just logs me off the internet and I gotta restart it to make it want to find the internet again. So it's pretty frustrating. So it would take probably as long as it's gonna take to get this thing finished as it would to get music going. So I'm just gonna knock this out. Alright, so that's good. So now I'm just gonna fold it and then we're gonna knock this heart out. Like a surgeon surgically knock this heart right out of there. Very thin metal, so it doesn't take long to get it where I need it. Use up wise. And we're ready to go, basically. So I think we're just going to go over here to this guy. I'm pretty stoked. I found somebody today, today 
who has this piece that I need. This piece right here of my so this is like a this is the most expensive ring stretcher that you could buy. Oops. Something just happened with my TV. There we go. So this one's broken. It just comes right out of there. But I found somebody. So to buy parts for these is super expensive. But one of my buddies has one. So I could finally start using that guy. But for now, we're going right here. And that little thing's going to be in the way because I can't move it. But we're not going to be here long. And we're actually going to use this reduction plate too. Which I don't use very often. There we go. We'll use that hole. We'll use this cone. And then really, I'm just going to, I got too much shit in the way. Fucking annoying. I'm just going to go like that. And that is how you do that. So that, that, that's where we're at. And now I'm just going to stretch it out so that it's a little more level on each side. Um... Yeah, I thought about getting a P.O. box. Um, I could do it. I just haven't yet. <clears throat> and we'll go over here. I would normally heat it up, but I think we're going to be okay. I guess we'll find out. Put a little protection on there so we're not getting any metal on metal contact once we get the thing going. So now we got kind of a ring shape. What should I do now? I think I'm going to keep stretching it out a little bit. <clears throat> Take care, John. Have a good one, bud. Stretch it out a little bit more. Sorry about the shaking, guys. Alright, so now that that shook and moved all around, <laughs> uh, we're here. So really, this is what's going to be the focal point once we get this going. Cause it's going to kind of hang. It's going to be a heart. So this is where, this is where the magic happens. So all I do... And it's pretty simple. People are kind of uh, making this harder than it should be. <clears throat> but I have this doming block kit. Which just has like steel. Steel. Rods. And I just find three that fit in there. And none of them are the same size. So it's not the most ideal. Because they're like. If I use three they're all different sizes. And this is a demo video for some of the Facebook guys. So if you have three perfectly good circular ones, use those. Because three different size ones isn't ideal, but it'll work. And that smaller one I don't need. I'm going to go a little bit bigger. You just want to get them in there until it's tight. And that bigger one, if I go one up, it's I can't get them all through all of them in there. It's too much. 
This is very, it's kind of sexual, isn't it? Just talking about this stuff. The innuendos and stuff. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to just stick with the, those three. It's not the tightest fit. You kind of want a tight fit, but it should be okay. Um, I say it should be. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna reduce the size of this before, or uh, before we get going. And that's kind of a cool process anyways. Um, let me just kind of get all this shoot out of the way. Um, this is how you reduce coin rings. And that's using, sorry guys, I'm just a freaking mess over here. Using this steel plate and this uh, plunger, as I push down, it'll reduce the sides. And of course I got too much crap in the way, so it's not the easiest thing to do, but. So that shrunk the top down a little bit and made it more of a perfect ring shape. But I don't think I reduced it too much. Oh, a little bit further here. Do the same to the other side. And that's how you shrink a ring. So if somebody has a ring that's too big, that's pretty much how you shrink it to fit. And now it should fit a little better. There we go. So now it's a pretty tight fit. So now we just want to decide which side out a little bit. Which side is going to be the top of our heart? I think we're just going to go right there. <clears throat> and to do this part, I just pick one of these out. It's pretty small. And I'm just going to basically just hammer it right in between these two. But you need kind of a good spot to do so. And these Harbor Freight tables come just Use one of the holes. Let's see if this thing will stay up here. Come on, camera. Cooperate just for a few minutes with me here. Don't be a bitch. All right. So I can use that hole to kind of hold it in place. going to hammer on top. I kind of want to make the placement right. I have Texas right here and the other words over here. So this is a good spot. Well, let's see if this works. It's already starting to move on me. Uh, these rods. But you can see what's happening. We're starting to get a shape. Now I am going to check out this bigger rod and see if it all fits in. Because you basically want it to be as tight as, tight as possible. Been a while since I've done one of these, so I'm a little out of date with how I did these before. Okay. Might be best if you like tape the rods together too. But you can see what's happening here. 
we're starting to get a heart shape and we're pretty close to being where we want to be on this probably just one more good wackadoo and there's a lot of things you can do to make this better obviously protecting the metal on metal contact um, these out but there you go so then you can even just like tap out the sides a little bit to make it straighter on the to make it straighter hearts um, you can take one of these and kind of tap it down to make this part slope down but I like that look it's a cool look so basically uh, it's kind of how I do my coin hearts <clears throat> and then just you know make it pretty so hit it with some steel wool haven't been watching chat sorry guys what's up Matthew buffering 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 And then you can put like a jump ring on it and make a necklace or what's up Aaron have a good one Dale Dale So now it's shiny and you can put a patina on it uh, which will make it look cooler but right there it says Texas 1845 with with, your, with the patina that will make it pop out and then 2004 a pluribus unum over here and you just put it on a necklace kind of have it hang a little off center boom you got yourself a heart pendant made from a silver quarter pretty easy to make if you got <clears throat> just well if you're a coin ring maker and you got the right tools it helps but the right size rods so that's basically it so I hope this helped I hope it gave some insight to some of you awesome Facebook coin art crafters that's it pretty easy Take care, guys. Have a good weekend.